Hey guys, long time no see. Let's do some makeup and catch up. Now I'm not kidding when I say I'm jumping right in. I got a sleeping baby off camera over there. And so I just realized after like almost two months of not filming anything, it is now or never. Like if you have a moment when sweet little baby boy is asleep, that is the time to strike. So let's do this. F starting with concealer. This is the Revlon Colorstay Skin Awaken with caffeine and vitamin C. They sent me, I think every shade in the collection a couple months back and I've used them. I'll be honest, I haven't been wearing a ton of uh, makeup recently. I need to get in a groove where I don't always make it up here in this seat to do my makeup. My studio, my recording studio is just off to the side and that's mostly where I am with the time that I have during the day. And so I've been meaning to like pack a bag with the new makeup that I want to try and use uh, so that I can like still kind of keep up and wear makeup on a daily basis. Cause right now that doesn't always happen. What's up guys, editing Bailey here. I'm watching this back and um, I like never finished this thought. I wanna pack a bag so that I can take it downstairs into my bathroom where I get ready every day and use the makeup there. That is gonna help me use the makeup that I wanna like routinely use. Was that clear? I don't know. I figured I'd clarify. Lack of sleep. It's just like so many days and you know, it just, it's all fuzzy. It's all fuzzy. Okay, back to the video. But this I have used a little bit, even though it's been sitting up here for, you know, probably almost two months at this point. It's still relatively new, right? Oh, this, by the way, is shot shade 005, which a little light. It's a little light, but we'll make it work. Um, I have worn these a few times. Over the holidays, I was actually wearing a little bit of makeup because I wasn't doing work and we had like, you know, family get togethers and pictures and stuff like that. So I like got to take some time to sit up here and do my makeup and try new things, including these. And when I did that, this is roughly the look that I did every time that I wore these. And I think I kind of liked it but I feel like I need to do it again just to be sure. So what I did, let me grab a brush uh, to blend this in, is I applied concealer first, applied that to my under eye area and just anywhere where I have some redness, which now that it has finally cooled down to like normal winter temperatures down here in Texas, like 30s, 40s, kind of variably, it is gonna be back up to 70 like tomorrow or the day after, I think. But you know, we are dipping down into the 30s. <laughs> um, my skin is definitely starting to see some regular redness around here. And I'm doing concealer first because over top of that, I put the Huda Beauty Glowish Luminous Pressed Powder, and mine is in the shade Light Medium, which is a tad too deep especially for this concealer it might be, but I want to layer this powder over the liquid just to make sure everything kind of plays nicely. And to apply that, I'm gonna use this ages old BH Cosmetics like angled flat kabuki brush. And what I liked about this look, wearing these two together, okay, this might be jarring, just bear with me. Yeah, it's a little too deep for my skin tone right now, but once we blend it out, I promise it will look like a better match. The concealer, admittedly, the concealer is not helping. But when I wore this a few times that I did, I loved the way this foundation looked, um, which I'm pretty sure it's a powder foundation. It didn't, I guess, I suppose it didn't say. It just says pressed powder on the back. So I suppose you could use this as a setting powder that gives you a little bit of extra coverage, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it is sold as a foundation as well. And it does a really, decent job, I think, at not only adding some coverage, but adding a nice glow. It reminds me so much of the IT Cosmetics Celebration Foundation pressed foundation, no, the glow version of that. There might be a matte version and then there is a glowy version and it is very similar to that. However, um, Huda Beauty, I think, has quite a few more shades in her line. So, but I don't know if you can just see like from that far away, how much it has evened out my skin and just given it a nice sheen. Now I did prime my skin. The one thing that I am super consistent with every day because it is down in my bathroom is my skincare. And I did repurchase my Bio Elements, what is it called? Dulux, I think. It's basically a hydrating oil. So I will tone with power peptide and then I will apply that oil and then sometimes go in with an additional moisturizer or I will go in with my Supergoop 
glow screen, which makes me super glowy, especially under a foundation like this. But I'm not wearing glow screen today. I'm just wearing that oil with over the toner. Um, and you can see it just gives the skin a really healthy looking sheen and it's not patchy. Uh, it just, oh man, she, I think she did a really, really good job with this powder foundation formula. And it kind of makes me, or reminds me anyway, of when I had a real fixation with powder foundations. I have a whole separate video from a few years back where I compared a ton of powder foundations out there. And this, this would be up there for me. If you're looking for something that gives a decent amount of coverage, it's not the most full coverage out there, I don't think, but it's definitely buildable, like a light to medium build, and evens the skin out and gives you a nice, healthy looking glow. This beautiful one to reach for in conjunction with that concealer, which pretty decent concealer. I don't know that the caffeine in particular does anything for me. I think consuming caffeine these days has been the real, real key factor, but you know, concealer with caffeine, without caffeine, always works magic. Okay, going back to a much loved favorite is my Lorac Sun Days Tantalizer Bronzing Powder. Bronzing powder in the shade. Sundays, and I'm taking that on an angled bronzer brush from Made You Look. Um, I, I first, it's been so long since I filmed a video because I am living newborn life. And I was like, oh, well, why don't I, I'm pretty sure the last thing I did was a favorites video, but because it's been so long, I thought another favorites video. It's, I mean, surely I have more favorites to talk about. Not makeup favorites, no. Once I started like doing the tally in my head, I have like movie and TV favorites, series that I have been watching, in the dead of night. Um, but most everything that I have been trying and buying and loving and just figuring out in general has been baby stuff. You need to know which bottles, which nipples, which breast pumps, which diapers, which things to organize your bottles and breast pump parts. Man, have I, have I tried a lot and I have some strong opinions on them, but that's not what this channel is about. And so, I guess I don't, I don't really have um, a ton of, or any beauty favorites, especially no new beauty favorites to speak of because I just haven't been wearing that much makeup as of late. My main focus in life has been um, getting more sleep, helping Finley get more sleep so that Andrew and I can get more sleep, which I feel like is the pursuit of so many new parents out there. Um, and I'm back to work too, which I'm super excited about. And at the beginning of the year, I typically like to take some time. It's, it's sometimes a slower time of year, at least for me and my voiceover business. I know everyone's voiceover business, depending on um, what you specialize in, can be different. But for me personally, I find that the beginning of the year can be a little bit slower coming off the high of the holidays. So I like to kind of set my goals, my intentions, figure out, you know, am I gonna be making any um, business upgrades? Like last year I bought my sound booth and so kind of figuring out stuff like that. Um, but I feel like in the Venn diagram of life, there is Finley, there is work, and then there's me time. And filming kind of falls in that me time category along with working out, which I've started doing and has been so, so good. Um, but it's that thing where all three can exist, but you can only have like balance in two at a time. And so Finley and work have been have been coming first recently, but hopefully, especially as we get him on more of a sleep schedule, the older he gets, the longer he sleeps, um, you know, the more I will be able to film on a more regular basis. <laughs> oh, and that by the way, was the Huda Beauty Glowish Cheeky powder, blush powder in Charming Cherry, uh, which is the shade of the two that I have, I've really been liking. Although it's super easy to overdo, it's a very pigmented blush. Um, for highlight, what I've been loving is the M Cosmetics Cosmic Pearl Dewy Eyeshadow, actually, but I really love this shade in particular, Moonrise, as a facial highlight. On the eyes, I think I've worn this like once on the eyes, and it's like a moussey cream sort of texture. Uh, so I find it super beautiful on the face, but can get a little creasy. Even if I prime my eyes, it can get a little creasy on my eyes. So I'll use it as like a base, but I won't really wear it alone on my eyes. And I mean, as you can see on the face, it's like a gorgeous, gorgeous. Yowza. We are entering Tin Man territory. Don't care. 
like it. The brows I am keeping simple with my Makeup Forever, this is like a tinted brow gel. It's called their Aqua Resist Brow Fixer. A teeny tiny little brow brush that just is perfect for doing a quick few sweeps through the brows, tinting, and then like kind of setting things in their place. If you know what I mean. Can you hear him? I wonder if my mic's picking that up. Finny is like just off camera napping and he's like doing this heavy wheeze thing. He's so cute. Um, parenthood is, you know, for all its challenges, here's the thing about parenthood and what nobody tells you about the real joys of parenthood, the bathroom humor. I'm not above it. Um, I don't know if you ever thought I was, but I'm not. It's really what keeps the morale high in, you know, in the middle of the night when you've changed like the fourth pee diaper during a feeding and the baby is still fussing, but he's fed and he's dry and you're like, what is it? And then he just lets a major one rip and you're like, yeah, that's my kid. That's my kid. And then he goes to sleep. Like nothing is more gratifying than that to me as a parent. Some parents want trophies. Some parents want awards. I just want endless potty videos like these. Of course, I mean, well, kind of. I genuinely get serious kicks out of videos like that, but a lot more has been happening here aside from that. We're waiting on his first smile, which I am oh, I'm so excited for when the first smile and giggle come any day now, fingers crossed. He's just hit the eight week mark, and so it's supposed to be right around then. Um, shifting gears back to makeup, this is the last makeup purchase I made. Um, it just period. And not just in 2021, but period. I was sucked into Lethal Cosmetics' new duochrome or multi-chrome launch, and I'd never tried anything from them before, so I actually just bought a whole big wide mess of their eyeshadows, including uh, just about every multi-chrome from them I could get my hands on. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this today since every single one of these is like shimmery. Because of that, I am sure whatever I do will be a fast and major letdown. But my ultimate goal in getting these is to do a bit of an indie beauty roundup. I have been trying a couple of brands here and there and stumbled upon some really fun, gorgeous products that I just think deserve uh, some more attention. So um, this, I haven't touched these yet. This is the my first time using them at all, but I'm hoping that these fall into that category. And I'm honestly, I'm pretty sure they do because I have been watching, like before I made this purchase, watch some reviews specifically of the duochrome collection, but inevitably uh, the people who were reviewing the duochromes, I think they were on their PR list. And so they had quite a few of their other products. So I ended up watching those videos too. And Sure enough, lots of love for Lethal Cosmetics out there. And honestly, uh, no surprise. When I first got these shadows, just looking at the complexities in the pan, I was like, best purchase, best, pur no regrets, best purchase ever. So did I need this many of them? <laughs> no, absolutely not. But no regrets. This shade, by the way, is super basic. It is this shade right here. And that I just applied all over my lids with a Cosette S7, S175 brush. Next, oh, where do I go from here? I mean, so many options and oh, what can I say? I have a busy day ahead of me. It is 3.30 in the afternoon and I have nowhere to be. Well, maybe I will grace the aisles of my local grocery store <laughs> just to say I went out and did something, but realistically, and this face is going nowhere tonight. So I really, the world is my oyster. Let's do, you know what I'm dying to use? I don't think this goes at all with what I just applied, but I've been dying to use this one, this shade down here. I don't know if you can see, it's like light blue and then it shifts into like a, a periwinkle slash violet. Oh, it's just, there's even like a pink in there. It looks so, so gorgeous. I'm sure the camera simply will not do it justice, but I am determined to use it today. Oh, and this, um. This palette is from Lethal as well. And I, I picked this one, they have a couple different formats, but this one I picked because it has two panels. 
this top one and this bottom one that is clear and you can see it here. But what I liked about, and this mirror up here, obviously, I like this because you, I think you can put creams down there and you won't have to worry about powders contaminating the creams. You can keep this closed if you see what I'm saying and like dip into your powders, make a mess of your powders without the powder actually getting into your cream. It's not perfect. There is a little bit of a gap right there. Um, so I suppose if you're traveling with it, it could fall into your creams, but oh, that's fun. That's really fun. But um, I don't know. It just struck me as a very versatile palette and not one uh, that I had really seen in a free form format available for purchase just like on its own from a brand individually. Okay, so this has taken on like a green cast, which I totally was not anticipating. Maybe it's because of the shade that I put it over. And now that I do this, I'm like, I really should have just applied this solo all over my lids because I kind of don't want to do <laughs> any anything else. It's just such a pretty shade. And yeah, that's gorgeous. Very frosty, but I mean, a lot of these were going to be because that's they're just frosty shades by nature. Wow, I really hope the lighting is doing this justice. I'm I'm sure it won't be, but it just it is such a pretty multi-chromatic, soft and subtle, but still multi-chromatic shade on the eyes. You doing okay there, sir? You doing good? Okay. Okay, since this pulled a little green, I am gonna go in with this gorgeous deep emerald right here. If with a domed brush, this one is uh, an Isom V31. And this is actually a multi-chrome shade too, has a bit of purple in it, but I figured this would be really fun in the outer corner to play off what it turns out was a little bit of a green in that last shade I just put down. Gorge, gore just. Um, what's everyone watching? I have been loving the new Queer Eye season. It's based in Austin. Hi, you good? You waking up a little bit? No, just a little wake up. A little wake up and go back to sleep. Shh, we're working on connecting those sleep cycles. But yes, been loving and watching the newest season of Queer Eye uh, because it's been in Austin. And so it's been really fun, not just to see, I mean, a new season of Queer Eye, but also uh, see all of the places that they're going and seeing in Austin because it's a little bit of nostalgia. Andrew and I used to, we lived there for like four years, I think. And uh, it's just, oh, it's such a fun city. Such a fun city. What else did we recently binge watch? Oh, Cheer, another Texas show um, based, the first season anyway, was in Corsicana, which is about an hour, maybe an hour and a half south of Dallas, where we're at now. Uh, but this season, they showed another team in Athens, TVCC. TVCC, uh, 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 uh. Yes. And so that was one that, like, the second it popped on Netflix, I knew, done. It's as good as watched. Oh yeah, I am loving the way this look turned out. Moving on to mascara, cause little man's waking up. Okay, so here I'm just gonna use a couple coats of my Victoria Beckham Future Lash. Yes, I totally am still planning on doing the comparison video uh, with drugstore versions that are waterproof and tubing and all that kind of stuff. It's just, you know, other things have been going on, but it's coming, I promise. What other shows? Oh, Only Murders, Murders on Only Murders, Murders Only in the Building, the one with Steve Martin, Martin Short, and Selena Gomez. The dynamic trio, I didn't know I needed in my life. Thank goodness it's been renewed for another season because the first one is so, so good. It's on Hulu. Uh, in case you haven't seen it or haven't heard of it, it's basically they're playing off of the popularity of true crime podcasts and it's a, uh, it's a murder mystery. The three of them are trying to solve what they believe is a murder and uh, doing it while recording a true crime podcast. So, and just the three, like it, the, the three of them are comedic gold together. I really, really like it. What else off the top of my head? Oh, The Great, another show that has been renewed for another season. They're gonna come back for season, oh no. Gonna come back for season three, but seasons one and two are out now, also on Hulu and so, so good. So good. Okay, now for lips, keeping it simple and going back to one that I'm pretty sure I used in the last video I filmed, whenever that was, the M Cosmetics Lip Cushion Tinted Lip Luminizer in Venetian Rose, which is really, I mean, it's a your lips but better kind of shade for me, but gives a little bit more color to my lips, a little bit more of a pigmented pink shade, but a nice glossy, foamy sort of finish. And it just is really comfortable because my lips have continued to be dry. So. 
That is this look using some current favorites-ish, some new products. Let me know what you think. Sorry for the gap in videos. Like I said, hopefully we're gonna get more consistent here these days, but what's been new with you guys? Let me know what you've been loving in the comment section below, what's been happening in your lives. Share it all down in the comments and thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.